guys have the lead in the second half and uh, just dissipates for you? Yeah, another uh, tough re result to swallow because for the most part, uh, you know, in a difficult game with, with bad circumstances, we, we did what we had to do and we played pretty well. Um, it's just kind of breaking our backs right now to, to give up these leads. We, we could probably be first place in the supporter shield after all the points we've given up from winning positions at this point. I think we just need one game where, where we grind out a, a road result so it almost gives us that belief again that when we take the lead we're able to hold it. Um, obviously the penalty makes a, a big difference in the momentum of the game and obviously we weren't able to cope with it right after that. You know, it's the same for both sides but just the conditions. How did, how did that play a factor into this game? Uh, the field got a little bit better as the game went on so it could dry and soak up a little bit but definitely the beginning of the the restart of the game was difficult because you almost had to chip passes to each other because they weren't going to roll on the ground. Uh, but I think both teams handled it well, knew what was at stake and, and knew kind of what the conditions were like and it was just a battle. And So both teams battled pretty hard and, and in the end the, the tie is probably fair because they, they were attacking a lot in the end and putting us under pressure. What's the mentality like in this locker room? Like you're 10 unbeaten in all competitions, but the, 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 the late leads kind of fall away. Do you, do you balance both of them? Yeah, it's got to be a balance. You know, we can't get too down because uh, we know we are 10 games unbeaten. We're on a good run. We keep the, you know, the mood in the team should stay good. Uh, on the other hand, uh, extremely disappointed because uh, we've talked. You know, we get to the playoffs and we do something like this, we're going to be out. We're going to be at home. We're not going to be going for MLS Cup. So we've got to figure this out sooner than later. Uh, personal accolade, you set a club record, uh, the secondary assist there, you know, lead the franchise record. Thoughts on, on your season so far? Um, I wish the assist would have been uh, a game-winning goal, and, and we would have been getting out of here with three points. I'd trade that any day, but obviously I'm pretty proud of my accomplishment. I think, uh, you know, to pass a guy like Thierry Henry is a, a, a big accomplishment. He's a legendary player, but um, I'm happy with the way my season's gone, but it's not over yet. Uh, eight more games, going to hopefully put up uh, some more goals and assists and help this team win. Jesse said it was a day for a brawl. It was a rivalry game. Has this game lost any luster with all the NYC stuff, or does it still feel to have that same edge to it? No, because I, uh, go speak to any one of the guys in our supporters groups, and they'll still tell you that DC is uh, enemy number one. And so we know how much this game means to them. It means a lot to us as well. We, we want to win the season series against them, so we know we know how we know that we now have another game against them at home, and we're going to take that one very seriously because they're doing their best to creep up the standings, but we want to keep pushing them down and keep moving ourselves toward the top.